Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day out there today. Guys, today we are installing the Apollo Intech 4 switch source control system on Bobby's Jeep Wrangler Black Bear. Now, that's a 2016. Not long ago, right here on Bubba's Garage, we installed, we actually did the six switch control system on the 2017 Jeep Wrangler Winter Edition. And honestly, guys, we were really impressed with the product. Yeah. So much so <laughs> that we installed the eight switch control system. <laughs> honestly, Bobby wanted to install one on her Jeep and she wanted to change it up a little bit. Of if course. you haven't checked out our eight switch or our six switch video, definitely check the links there in the eye in the sky. When we did the six switch, Bobby loved the source control system so much, but just didn't like the mounting of the overhead switch controls uh, above the mirror. Yeah, she, I like the side A pillar kind of. So concept. today we're doing the A pillar install right here from Apollo Intech. We're gonna check it out. I'm curious as to how it, the source control system varies between the rest of the products. Yeah, because the eight switch and the six switch, they mounted differently. They do, so I'm mount curious differently. how this one's gonna mount. Yeah. Now, one thing I think you're gonna have to do is drill into the A pillar on this one. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna find out here really, really quick. Yeah. Let's take this little fella out to the garage and let's get ready to install. And just like that, guys, we have the A-pillar four switch source control system set up right here by Apollo Intech. Yes. Guys, it's exactly what I expected, and that is nothing but the best from those guys over at Apollo Intech. Absolutely. You still have the metal housing for your source control system. And more importantly, it comes with everything that you need to do this installation. Everything. Insertion. Everything. The only thing missing is your tools. Is your tools. Is your tools. So you got to have some tools. <laughs> But let's let's go into detail about the components and then we'll move on to our installation. The source control systems comes with four 40 amp relays, two 20 amp fuses there, and two 30 amp fuses there. Here's your switch pod. It comes pre-wired, ready to go, plug and play. And it comes pre-loaded with four switches that have LED lights in them. You can get those lights in green, blue, or red, and we chose green for our Jeep. Even comes with a piggyback fuse that you're going to install in your fuse box. And this piggyback fuse, once the key is turned on on the ignition, it will light up your switch pod. Yes. It also comes with the zip ties yep. for the wiring. Yep. It comes with the wire connectors and extra 100 amp fuse. And even though it's a four switch, it comes with eight covers. Yeah. And you know, that's one of the things I've always been impressed with uh, yes. about Apollo Intech is it doesn't matter which source control system or switch system that you get from these guys, they always throw in extra switch covers. And that's awesome that's because huge. there's so many different accessories, they give you that option of customizing. Yeah, and, and you know, the thing is, is they even give you the tool to swap those covers out because you guys know as avid Jeepers, we're changing our stuff yes. all of the time. And here's the tool that you're gonna use to pop those covers off and put new ones on. And guys, I'm gonna throw in some footage on how to pop those off right now. You're gonna use the tool, you're gonna to place it firmly against your switch, you're gonna press all the way in, and then you're gonna push this in. See, it's really easy to do. It's actually not that bad at all. No. I am really impressed with the product that we actually have here from Apollo Intech. I think the first step that we need to do in this installation is get our A-pillar out take a look at the instructions and see what we need to do to get this switch pod installed on the Black Bear. How hard is it to cut and drill this A-pillar? Honestly, I don't know, but based on the instructions provided by Apollo Intech, I think this installation is gonna go fairly well. The documentation is very, very thorough. And more importantly, it comes with a template that we're gonna cut out and wrap around our stock A-pillar yes. before we drill those holes. 
So the first step of this installation is we're gonna go ahead and cut out this template and tape it to our A-pillar. All right guys, now that we got the template cut out, we're gonna take the template, we're gonna put it on the A-pillar and tape it to the A-pillar, and then we're gonna drill out our holes. Alright guys, there you go. Honestly, that wasn't that bad at all. No. I mean, it wasn't. Now, the instructions call for using a Dremel tool to cut out the little section, yeah. and I used my Bubba version of a hot knife. <laughs> That's just what I'm used to, and it does take a little bit longer, but in the end, it worked out just fine. We yeah. have this buttoned up. We're gonna take, we're gonna install the source control system underneath the hood, yes. and then we will come back to this little fella. All right, guys, the next step to this installation is installing the source control system right here on the driver's side of the vehicle, yes. closest to your PCM. And then we're going to run our wires through the firewall and up to the A pillar. Yes. Shouldn't be that bad at all. No. Let's get Not started. All right guys, now that you got your wire from the source control system run through the firewall, we're gonna take, we're gonna attach this to our new A-pillar here. Then we're gonna take and install this. And let me show you a quick easy tip on how to install this really easy. You're gonna take your A-pillar, you're gonna come in, you're gonna wrap it around the corner, and then you're gonna slide it down. Just make sure you pay attention to the bottom because it's going to connect right down here at the bottom. Now you have a clip right here. You're gonna line up and press right in. So by coming up and down with your A-pillar, you're making sure that you actually get the A-pillar slotted into your dash. There's actually a notch in the back that it slides right into. So come up and then come down. Next up, we're gonna clean up these wires here. We're gonna zip tie them, we're gonna close up this panel here, and then we're gonna move on to underneath the hood where we hook up the battery. All right, guys, before we hook up the battery, I just wanted to talk about something a little bit, and that is the M6 Fuse add-on thingamajigger. We got a lot of questions about this in previous videos. Yes. And, well, it's actually not that bad, but you're going to probably want to cut your fuse box. Fuse box, just a little bit for yeah, that you, wire you, to get You don't through. have to, but, but let me explain. First up, before we do that, let's grab our little fuse holder. Let's grab the M6 fuse out of the Jeep. Got our 20 amp fuse here. Nope, it's going in there. I was waiting for the clips. <laughs> there you the go. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna take this out of fuse, and the out of fuse is gonna end up going here. So you can kind of see, what I wanna do is I wanna cut a slight notch right there that goes down so that I can run this wire this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out of the way. We're gonna set this aside. And I'm gonna get my trusty uh, Dremel tool out. And honestly, we probably should have got this out a little bit earlier when we were cutting the, cause it would have, yeah, anyways. It Something like that should do the trick. We're gonna take and test this little fella out real fast. And you can kinda see how it lays flush right there. Now, if we put our box cover back on, then what will happen is, it closes nice and tightly right there. Now, we gotta move on to crimping that little fella together. Yeah, we do. And you know what this actually does, right? Do you know what this does? What this, does it do, baby? Yeah, babe, <laughs> this is gonna make it to where your lights come on when you turn the key on. Without this, well, nothing is gonna light up. Well, that's not good. No, and it won't trigger the relays, so your light bar, and your hood light bar won't cut on at all. There's 
there you go guys that wraps up the installation of the a pillar four switch source control system by apollo intech yes guys we have installed them all i mean every single one of them the six the, the eight. eight and now the four right here on bubba's garage and guys i am very impressed these products honestly i love them i mean we've installed a lot of these products they're high quality value for the money is definitely definitely there, there. I, yeah. I have to ask you one out of five bubble thumbs what would you rate this one installation product value everything i would probably go ahead and give it a five bubble thumbs you know I, I totally agree i mean we gave the six switch a five bubble thumbs i think we gave the eight a four until we did that j3 mod the j3 mod when we did the j3 everything. mod we gave it a yeah. five guys that eight switch is really awesome <laughs> do me a favor check the links in the eye in the sky for the eight switch the mod as well as the six switch yes. and well you know check the links there in the description in the links in the description we'll have links to all these products right here by apollo in tech you guys if you reach out and you get any of these do me a favor tell them what bubba sent you right here from bubba's garage absolutely so, so <laughs> honestly what are your thoughts on the a pillar mount i really like it i've always really liked the a pillar out of the way off to the side you know i don't really like the above the rearview mirror yeah see the thing is is i love that above it i mean it just the, makes my windshield the, feel so crowded <laughs> yeah i get that i get that you know the six switch is really nice because it has a built-in volt meter i do like that you know that was really cool yeah. I, I really liked it the eight switch is even better because you got a lot more switches but you lose yeah. that volt meter yeah. so i guess it really just depends on what it actually is that you're looking for but what i want to tell you something the bottom line is, is I guarantee you, one of these is going to work out for your needs. Absolutely. I mean, almost guaranteed. Guys, we're going to wrap up this video right here, right now. If you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around to find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.